I built a glycol chiller for my fermentation control. Uh, the whole thing probably costs about 250 bucks. Spent $100 on the air conditioner unit, another 40 bucks or so at Home Depot for the cooler, and then just other little parts and material, uh, maybe another 75 bucks or so. But all in all, it was a pretty, pretty cheap build as far as like homebrew stuff goes, and a hell of a lot cheaper than buying the commercially available ones. Uh, as far as the build goes, it was relatively simple. Um, you just take the outer housing off uh, your air conditioner unit there. And then the most tricky part about the whole thing was bending the condenser unit into the shape that you needed to all the tubing for. Um, just make sure you just take your time and just just bend it real nice and carefully and slowly. Don't rush it. Um, and it's other than that, it's really simple. You just don't need. Just make sure you don't kink any of your copper tubing there. Uh, I cut a hole, a little notch in the side of the cooler for the copper tubing to sit in. I just backfilled it with some good stuff foam, and there's a little silicon bead back here for make sure the glycol doesn't go out. Other notes for the build is when you disassemble, there used to be a fan here. Uh, you just unbolt the fan, use a hacksaw, and cut the spindle that the, ha that the fan was on. And then you need to uh, dis disassemble the thermostat, which lives in the electronics housing here. And that was pretty simple. You just undo the screws. And you'll see where the thermostat is. It's the unit, it was this one on this guy here on the inside. Yeah, you just, it's the one that has the, uh, the temperature on, the thermometer on it. You just uh, pull the wires off and wire nut those together. And other than that, just make sure the settings are on ultra cold and fan on high. So after that, I just built the box allowed for some ventilation on all the sides so it stays nice and cool and gets plenty of air and I just then ran it to my raincoat controller oh, I'm trying to show you I got got it set it's 31 degrees in there right now I keep it at set at 36 but it gets pretty cold I've got a glycol ratio of two gallons of glycol and six gallons of water Still no freezing, this thing's been down to 31 degrees so far. And it keeps my lager perfect 53 degrees for fermenting right now. So yeah, otherwise than that, I just added some LED lights. Just kind of fancied up a little bit. It kind of looked badass in the brewery.